Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Welcome to Brilliance Business TV Conversations with Leading Experts in Business. I am your host, Mark Stephen Pula. We have a wonderful guest today, Rose Kathleen Morgan, an author. Really looking forward to a great conversation. We are streaming live on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. We're also on the E360 TV network, going out to Apple TV, Fire TV, Android TV, Roku and many more. We're also on Business Innovators Radio Network, and we're also streaming on mspnewsglobal.com. I just want to make an official shout out to our show sponsor today, Steve Kamensky. Kamensky's Business Future Event Service in Las Vegas, who you can follow on LinkedIn at Steve Kamensky. So that's our sponsor for the show today. Let's bring in our incredible guest, Rose Morgan. Hi, Hi, Rose. Welcome to Brilliance Business TV. Hi, I'm Mark. And hi, everybody else who's watching. I'm really looking forward to a conversation with you today, Rose. So, Rose, my first question today, do you think your book would make a good TV series and why? My book would make a brilliant TV show, to tell the truth. And the reason being, it has everything in it. It has everything from action to drama to emotional background. The background is immense. It brings everything from every single world of vampires all into one. So you've got your action for the fans of, you know, build up things, you know. And you've got the drama for the melodramatics. You've got romance. It's got all the sex you could ever want. It's got everything, you, you know, it's perfect it is. So tell us a little bit about your book, Rose, and tell us a little bit about the storyline. My book is about a character named Gloria Snipes. She works for the government in the experimental um, industry, and she's making salad structures for plants. And while she's in there, she has an explosion, and she goes hunting and finds out there's a, they're doing an experiment on the army and to find the perfect cure for all diseases. And it turns out they have been using somebody else's blood to turn into a, a, a nucleus, happens to be Dracula's blood, which most of the soldiers die off, but then some of them just turn and they go on a berserk rampage through the facility before, you know, they've either half eaten a person or turned them, and the disease spreads all across the UK and then to America and all over, and it is. And Gloria is what working in the government in another lab, and she gets attacked by one of the um, vampires, and she doesn't realise she's running th- for her life and dripping. And then she realises, oh wait a minute, I'm a goddamn vampire, and so this is her survival. But she's got one secret nobody else has: she can walk in the daylight, and everybody Ooh. wants her. And she so- meets lots of characters along the way. Excellent. And tell me, where did you get the idea for this book, Rose? Um, I'm an actual fan of um, Count Dracula, and I'm a fan of all anything supernatural. I am. So I thought, mm, I'd love to bring bits of everything together, you know, different storylines, different plots, and see where it, where it goes. Interesting. So... Does writing a novel help with your PTSD because you do suffer with PTSD as well? Actually, Mark, it helps loads. When I first wrote my first book, which was Trolls of um, Alga, I incorporated all of my mental health into my characters. And it's a way of, um, you know, like letting loose and letting it go. And as you're writing and you're talking about different characters and you're writing their story, you're putting your emotions into each person. So you're bringing up, you're like moulding your own little person that come into life, if you understand. I do definitely so, understand, Rose. Yeah, if you could create your own little world and then put your your mental health into that little person as a lot, you can write whatever you want. 
and it's it getting the creative part yeah, of it your mind. Alive and they build, you build upon it. And then these create characters, some is part of your family, and they are like, you know, your babies. <laughs> I hear you. So what does the words writer block mean to you? Because a lot of oh. writers suffer with writer's block. Yeah, it's like brain freeze. That's the only way it's going. You know when you're eating ice lolly and you get that brain freeze and you're like, oh, you just can't think of anything. What to write, what to do. It means you need that break. You need to put the laptop down, take a day off and, you know, really focus on yourself because – you need to relax. And that goes for everybody, I think, who does writing. How long did it take you to write the book, Rose? Three months. Three months? That's pretty good going. Six hours a day, it? three months. That's well, three to four months, even six hours a day constantly. So yeah. that's why you was putting in a lot of time every yeah, day. Yeah, loads of time out of it. Like I said, I built Gloria, then I built Cables. Then it was um, Sarah. And then after Sarah, it's Dracula comes into it, who happens to be. I'll give you one little sneak peek, everyone. Gloria's husband from 200 years ago. She is like a reincarnation version of herself. Very creative. Yeah, it's brilliant, it is, to be honest. So, Rose, I just want to take a quick commercial break. So please stay where you are and we'll be back straight after the break. Thank you, everyone, Thank you. for joining Thank us you, for part one of Brilliance Business TV. We're with Rose, Kathleen, Morgan. If you're into vampires, stay tuned after the commercial break. Hello, this is uh, Stephen Buckner, and uh, just wanted to tell you uh, I support the uh, Dreamweaver project. Um, it's a great product project where you know artists such as myself will be able to come together and uh, basically collaborate and to have a retreat to feel accepted and welcome. And that's something that artists here and around the world could always benefit from. So. I just want to say, please support the Dream Reliever Project. Um, I think it's for a great cause, and uh, I salute all the independent artists out there and artists that are signed as well, and uh, have a wonderful day. Welcome back to Brilliance Business TV. We're here with Rose Kathleen Morgan. Um, if you're into vampires, stay, stay tuned. We have been talking all about Rose's incredible book, Realm of Vampires. So, Rose, who is your favourite character and why? I know this is going to sound really corny, but I have to admit it is Sarah. Um, because she comes across as the innocent, you know, the shy girl. And halfway through the book, she comes out and she's like this, two guns blaring, <laughs> machine guns. I love her, I really do. Tell us a little bit more about Cat Rose. Sarah, um, she worked in the same um, experimental department as um, Gloria, but they didn't know each other. She was uh, told her she was a machine maker and that she made, made experimental weapons and everything. But the truth is, she belongs to a um, certain um, group of individuals that protect um, the likes of Sherlock Holmes and Dracula, you know, all the big high tops, Jekyll and Hyde and all that. She follows them around and she protects their um, legacy, basically. And if anyone gets in the way, she takes them out for them. She's paid a lot of money, but this is all undercover. So her undercover bit is she works in the experimental thing laboratory. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I, it is. I know you're really passionate about writing, Rose. Where would you like to see yourself in the future? I would, I tell the truth, I'd love to see my book as a film or a TV show. But the truth is, long as it sells and I become maybe a bestseller, 
I would like, I'd love to be across the lines of Anne, Anne Rice's books and, you know, against her and all that. And it's like, that is a pleasure to be like that. And it are is. you writing anything at the moment? Yeah, Rose? I am actually writing the sequel to The Realm of Vampires, which I called Hair of the Realm. It's a child about the two brothers, because Gloria and Dracula rescue two, have two boys. One is called Oliver, and he was rescued from a group of vampires. And the other is Hector from the original 200 years ago. Um, that's their so original son. But before he gets killed in the book, the first book, um, they go through a portal, one of the witches does, and brings him back and gives him to glory as a present. Like, no. Uh -oh. So this is the second book is about them growing up. Excellent. So there's a part two to the story. Yeah. Uh, and why write about vampires? Tell us a little bit about why vampires. Why not? It's not all about vampires. It's about anything supernatural. Like I opened the door, I bring the vampires in, the werewolves in, the changelings in, and it all became one. What if somebody could open that portal, right, and anything dark and supernatural could come into your world? You know, you would have to stop that, that somehow, but how? So you have to bring in the top-notch witches, which happens to be <laughs> man, who is relate, who is actually married, right, to uh, Lucifer, who happens to be the guy who changed Dracula. So they're all connected. Every character in my book is connected to each other. No, I know Realm of Vampires is available on Amazon. Who should go and get a copy of this book? Who is it really, really a perfect fit for? It's a fit for everyone. Everyone, because everyone likes the supernatural. They know what's going to be out there. They wonder. And I wrote a book that fits everyone. You know, from the critic, even to the little old man who sits in his chair and he's like, wants to engorge and see what's going on in a different world. But it's basically oh, named at 18 plus, though, so no underage. So it's an 18 as well. Yeah, That's it's definitely, it's an, it, like I said, it's an erotic. There's a lot of sex in it. And because of that reason, it's an 18 plus and because of the language. I hear you. So if that's your kind of thing, go out and get a copy of Realm of Vampires. It's Don't available on Amazon. It's not for the shy people. <laughs> it might scare them. Rose, I've really enjoyed a conversation today. Is there anything we did not cover that you would like to share? Yes, buy my book. <laughs> Realm of no. Vampires. So it's put available you on, my map. on Amazon. Include you, Mark. Buy my <laughs> book so you can go on that map. <laughs> Realm of Vampires. It's on Amazon. Rose, thank you so, so much for being my guest today. I've really enjoyed having a conversation with you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure, Mark. The pleasure's been all mine. Thank you, everyone, for watching Brilliance Business TV. Conversation. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.